Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. So today we want to talk about building a Windows 11 LexD virtual machine. So by itself LexD does not support OS instances that are not Linux. The prerequisites to this project are that you have a server with both LexD and QEMU installed to support Linux kernel virtual machines. A LexD VM provides an entire OS in a container and uses the LexC CLI to make use of KVM plus QEMU, which are the Linux VM components. In the last video, we discussed what LexD VMs were, and if you haven't watched it, I encourage you to go back to that. So in this video, we're going to build a Windows 11 LexD VM. So let's go do that. So here we are on the command prompt of a system where I have both LexC and QEMU installed. If I say LexC version, you can see that I'm running a version of 4.0.9. I understand that this process generally requires at least LexC version 4.0. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do a snap install on something called the distro builder. The distro builder is going to be required in order to install the process to build or repack windows. The next requirement is that we have some dependencies and these are the dependencies of which I already have some installed. We're going to put all of these in the show notes. The next step is going to be running distro builder to repackage the ISO. So now that distro builder is done repackaging the distribution media, we're going to create a LexD container for the VM and we're creating it as an empty container as you can see. And we're going to make some modifications to that. First we're going to um, give it a larger root size because Windows needs a larger root size than does Linux. And then I'm going to set the memory and uh, CPU cores up to four. And then I'm going to point it to where the distribution media is. And then we're going to start the container. So all these things will be in the show notes. Here we go with starting the container. Press any key to begin like we would with Windows normally. And it's starting to run Windows setup in the remote viewer screen. So we'll go ahead and continue. Do an install now. Setup is starting. I will put uh, the product key in later. So I'll do a next. I don't have a product key. And we're going to do Windows 11 Pro. And I do a next, custom install, point to drive zero, next, and now it's copying files. After the first reboot with uh, Windows, you're going to be required to go back into the console 
with the Lexi console win 11 dash dash type equals BGA and it will be continuing on from here. And you may have to bring that command up again. So then when it does another reboot, you'll be able to do another Lexi console win 11 dash dash type equals VGA. It'll come back up into the vert viewer console. Vert viewer should be a component of QEMU. So we can just say uh, Windows 11 LexD. Okay, we can't have any spaces, so let's just make it Windows dash 11 dash LexD. Or since we're in Windows, we have multiple restarts that have to go on through the process of installation. And just remember, if you get exited out of the remote viewer, like I just did, just go ahead and do another LexC like console when 11 dash dash type equals VGA. It'll reconnect and it will continue on with the updates of Windows. And as you're aware, if you're working with the physical machine, there would be multiple reboots during this. So your reconnection to the console is as expected. So here we go. There's a welcome prompt. And of course, we're doing the final preparations here. This is going to be blindingly fast. Um, You'll find that most installations of Windows 11 are considerably faster than Linux, of course, not. <laughs> um, I'm not really a Windows fan, uh, no surprise. Uh, I do have Windows on VMs, as long as I put them in their own uh, VLAN by themselves where they can't hurt anything else. And uh, I use them mainly to help other folks, but I really don't... Uh, keep um, Windows as a regular running operating system in my home lab. And finally, after just a few moments, we're at a Windows 11 console. So now that I have my Windows 11 LexD VM up and running just fine, I went over into my LexD dashboard, which I cover on another one of my videos, and you can see that here I have Windows 11 up and running, and in fact it has an address of 172.16.1.202 is actually an address on my local LAN. So the way I achieved that was that I went into profiles and I added the bridge profile that I did on one of my previous videos. And in fact, it did give it itself an address out on that 172.16.0.0 network. Unfortunately, even though it did give me an address on that network, and even though I can go out here and look at it by doing an IP config in Windows 11 and you can see it says 172.16.1.202 if I try to bring up a terminal if I try to bring up a terminal on my local machine or really anywhere on my network and attempt to go back and ping 172.16 202 I'm not able to reach it and I'm not sure why that's the case um, I would understand this being a problem if I was using a uh, Mac VLAN uh, connection but I'm not I'm using a bridge connection and I've also tried from multiple places on the network 
So I'm not entirely sure that the networking part of the Lex DVMs is working fine yet. And in fact, I even kind of took it a step further because if you, we go down here and let's say I disconnect from my terminal. And if I do a Lexi list, you'll see that there's my running machine and it does say that it's at 172.16.1.202 which is a local address on my LAN. This test uh, uh, LexD container which is not a LexDVM you can see over here it's just a container. Uh, we created it in a previous video and I'm able to ping it and connect to it from the network just fine. So this is a little bit of a mystery. Also, in the process of doing this, I went ahead and upgraded my uh, LexD to uh, LexD 5.1, which is the latest version. And by standard in Ubuntu uh, 2204, you get LexD 4.0. But since this thing is a snap, you can go out and upgrade to the latest version if you like. However, 5.1 does not seem to make a difference. So that part of it's a little bit of a mystery. However, I do have to say that this is running just fine. In fact, it's extremely fast. If I do a, uh, a shutdown here, you'll see how fast it will shut down the machine. Sometimes that's quick, sometimes it's slow. Depends on what updates are pending. And then if I do a LexC list, you can see that my Windows 11 uh, VM is stopped. So if I say LexC start, Win 11, and then I immediately do a Lexi console. You can see how fast it will boot. And there we're at the login prompt. I type my password and I'm logged in. So that's pretty impressive for a containerized VM. And I actually think that that is faster than something like VirtualBox or just a straight up QEMU VM. So in summary, Windows 11 would not run as a LexD container. And so therefore we created a LexD virtual machine to install and run Windows. LexD VMs must go through a virtual machine boot up process and are slower than a traditional LexD container. LexD VMs provide the functionality of a VM while being able to use the power of the LexC command language interpreter. This tutorial demonstrated how a LexD VM can be created for a non Linux operating system. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and we'll see you next time.